Hi and welcome to PC Dictation. This is a support um, video on the speech mic, uh, in particular updating the firmware. Uh, first of all, you need to um, download some software and that's not only um, the control center, but uh, make sure your firmware is up to date. So you do need to go to the Philips website, go into the products, stationary dictation. It'll take you to, actually I might as well do it, um, it will give you a number of options. We're using the 3500 series, or uh, in particular, it's a 3510 that I've got plugged in. It's a matter of finding which you know speech mic you do have. Go to the support page, and there will be a number of software updates. So first of all, make sure you've got the latest speech control application. Um, anyone using Mac, that's quite important because there are some updates as of um, December 2015. So once you've downloaded the Control Center installed, um, plug your speech mic in, make sure it's all you know working up. Um, you also need to make sure you've got the latest firmware, which is 2.54 at the moment. Um, I've already downloaded the file, but if you click on that, it'll get download to your download folder. That's typically how most PCs are set up. Um, once you have done that, you need to then open up your um, Philips Device Control Center click on the device center here, firmware upgrade, and you can see what has already been installed or is, is um, on the machine. Um, just coming back to the, the firmware, when it comes down, it comes down as a zip file. You do have to unzip it, save it to a location where you know you will find it again. So if we go back to the Philips program, we import it. I've placed it on the desktop and I've unzipped the file. It's just I just want to emphasize that if you try and uh, grab the file while it's still as if you won't find it, it's found one file on my desktop, just click OK. So now we can highlight the file that we want to uh, upload and we just click the upgrade. It will say, you know, make sure you're doing this, that, the other. Just make sure you're in the stop position. If you are um, got a 93, no, 9510, which I have, do not disconnect the device until the upgrade is complete. It's quite important. Things can go wrong if you start fiddling with the device uh, while it's in this mode. Allow it to do what all it needs to do. This shouldn't take too long. Um, running the 2.50 before, look, it wasn't too far behind, but it, look, uh, you know, it's always worthwhile updating your firmware if you're not sure. Okay, once it has uh, been updated, just make sure that, you know, it, it works. That's the um, control panel that you can see there. So that seems to be fine. If we go back into um, the firmware upgrades, you can see what versions we have got and what's current. The other way to ch double check is click on your device information up the top here. It does say the firmware version you currently have. Once you have that, um, you're ready to use the recorder or test it. Um, especially with Dragon, it's important that this program, the Philips Device Control Center, is running when you're ra running Dragon because um, it, it talks to not only uh, your PC and Dragon, and all these buttons have to sort of be sent through to Dragon as well. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. I know it's um, I've probably made it look quite easy, but I'll just quickly go through um, what you need to do, just as a bit of a refresher, go to the Philips uh, website, which is dictation.philips.com. You go to the products, stationary dictation, and find the product that you uh, have at the moment. Uh, in, partic in this particular recorder, we are, uh, the speech mic that we're using, uh, it's a 3510. We click on the support page. We download, make sure the, we've got the latest speech control. We download the firmware. We unzip that firmware and save it somewhere. So by the default, if we look at this show in folder, it's sitting in my downloads folder. We unzip that and I've saved it to my desktop. Um, if you've got any other questions, please let me know. Hopefully uh, that's reasonably obvious at that point in time. Thank you for watching.